Good afternoon, you're watching Stoic, the student television of Imperial College, broadcasting to the JCR, the Union Building, the Southside TV Lounge, and on Channel 21 to the Southside Bight and Linstead Halls. And now before today's news break, we have a very special news programme in which we bring you the latest on the Iranian situation. This photo shows the close proximity of the Iranian Embassy to Imperial College. But now over to Graham Shaw outside Hyde Park. Now we have the latest news on the situation at the Iranian Embassy. Here's the background to the story. Yesterday, two armed men entered the Iranian Embassy, taking with them a British policeman who was outside at the time. They are now thought to be South Iranians demanding the release of 91 political prisoners in Iran and the de declaration of an independent state in South Iran. They were threatening to blow up the Embassy and kill the Iranian hostages at 12 noon today. It's past 12 noon and nothing yet has happened. One of the hostages was allowed to telephone the BBC this morning, giving an ass assurance that no non-Iranian hostages will be hurt. Meanwhile, the Ayatollah has said that for every Iranian hostage killed, he will try and execute one of the 91 political prisoners in Iran. So up till 12 noon today, the situation was a stalemate. Scram Shaw for Stoic, outside Albert Hall. Well, that was Graham Shaw outside the Albert Hall there. And now we have our normal news break. You're watching Stoic. And now for another report on the siege in the Iranian Embassy, we go over to Tracy Poole in Hyde Park. This afternoon, much attention, at least in the eyes of the media, has been focused on the siege going on in Kensington. Several rival groups of demonstrators have assembled near the South Courage Road in Hyde Park, including several Muslim Iranians pledging support to the death for the Ayatollah Khomeini. Shouts of long live Khomeini have been rivaled by several pro-British chants, many originating from members of IC. The police were at one point called in to separate rival groups. At least ten arrests have been made for breaches of, of the peace amongst the onlookers and demonstrators. In the siege itself, two deadlines to blow up the embassy have passed. The police are continuing to talk calmly to the gunmen in the embassy, a procedure which has proved successful in two previous London sieges. It is reported, however, that that members of the police, anti-terrorist squad and the Army Special Air Service are standing by. Well, that report there completes today's transmissions on Stoic. We shall be back next Tuesday with another in our series, Stars on Stoic, when Graham Shaw talks to David Essex. At the moment we're out here in Hyde Park witnessing a demonstration by sitting guilds of Imperial College. Well, this afternoon has been quite an active one in this new siege. I think most people have forgotten about the actual siege and the gunman. Two deadlines have passed, one at 12 o'clock and one at 2 o'clock, and there's still threats to perhaps blow up the embassy. None of this has yet happened. Apparently the SAS were ready to move in at 11.45 and clear out the gunman from the embassy, but due to the knowledge that there's a large amount of explosives inside, they didn't do this. This afternoon, there was the announcement that apparently the British Embassy in Tehran had been taken over. Fights broke out among the two fractions here in Kensington Gore, and one policeman was seriously hurt and since been removed to hospital. There have been a few arrests for breach of the peace, one by a 73-year-old lady, and as I say, there have been many more attractions. One of them was by the Harry Krishna crowd, who broke through several police cordons, but has since been pushed away. And now, of course, the highlight of it is the students from Sitting Guilds College Union. They have drawn a very large attraction here in Hyde Park and seem to be getting much of the coverage from the news media. Well, at the moment, as I say, it's ten minutes past four. There's still a lot of time left today before we go into yet another night at this siege at the Embassy. 